In any formal capacity, Ian must refer to Rhett and Link as Big Daddy and Bigger Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll really miss you, Spooky Skeleton Shane. <laughs> My wife is a talented interior designer. Lucky for her, I'm her interior destroyer. <laughs> to face tune him a little bit. <laughs> Do you ever just stare up at the moon and cry? Hashtag women's rights. <laughs> Link's hair is more akin to a Lego piece than human hair. <laughs> we used a buzzsaw to crack through the pomade alone, but didn't find very much beneath it. <laughs> Link is dumb. <laughs> Damien is so oh pale. How pale is he? When the makeup artist is doing his makeup, the foundation she uses is called Supremacy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, that's how pale he is. Wait. 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 Oh my God damn. As some of you may know, I was Tommy's boss on paper, but I'm pretty sure everybody was Tommy's boss, but legally I am Tommy's boss. <laughs> this concludes another one of my will readings, and let this be a lesson to us all here today. If you do one single good thing on Smosh, they'll make you do it again and again until you're bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> a little more background information. Uh, Rhett donated his chin to charity in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, his style will always be liberal arts Ted Bundy. Uh, here we got, oh, Ian. <laughs> Let's talk about Ian really quick. You can skip me if you want. <laughs> uh, Ian, though, uh, a lot of people make fun of you for kind of being like a Debbie Downer around here. You know, some, sometimes you say some things, people are like, oh, Ian, man. But uh, quite honestly, I really like that about you because it takes a lot of flack off my back. <laughs> uh, with you around, I'm now rated the third biggest asshole here. <laughs> and that's right behind Tommy's. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, you look like if an umbrella wished to be a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, like that one was really one of my favorites. That was some great work of mine, that headband that he would always wear to, you know, hide it all. <laughs> Honestly, it was, it was it was kind of a collab between me and BD, my my good bud, uh, Body Dysmorphia. Thank you so much for attending the memorial service for DJ Tommy Bones. He truly was the best of us at going. This <laughs> <laughs> so last one has an MP3 link to it, and it says, "You must not mention Rhett and Link's unreleased country song." So, um, let's play it. Long time we kissed each other's wives. <laughs> you know, I think Smosh was afraid to make Tommy full time cast. Because then Tommy would lose his one joke. <laughs> <laughs> but don't be sad. Ghost Tommy is in great company with Kiana, who ghost wrote 50% of this funeral. <laughs> oh God, yeah. uh, now we're getting to Shane. Oh, fuck. Shane. Now, Shane, I've known you since I was 13 years old. That's, yeah. that's pretty crazy to think about. Like, you've literally seen me grow up in front of your eyes. And then at eye level, and then well above your <laughs> eyes. In 2022, Tommy, you went on Smosh Pit and told an audience of 25 million people that you hit me with your car. In 2022, my family was $25 million in medical debt. <laughs> These ones, first ones are from Rhett. They call me Arby's, the way I have the meat. <laughs> that man loves to barbecue. Jesse got me going straight nutter butters. <laughs> and that's a man that loves his wife. <laughs> this next one's really beautiful. Neighbors ask if I got a new dog. How do I tell them it's just me horny howling at my beautiful wife, Jesse? <laughs> Am I still gay if the only woman I'm attracted to is Amanda? <laughs> this one is a is a classic reference to um to Good Mythical oh Morning. God. Jesse McLaughlin, will it missionary sex? Oh my yes. God. 
I have to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Their stomachs are what we call a medical anomaly. Inside I found blood, bile, worms, fish eyeballs, bull <laughs> testicles, spaghetti jello, pig anus, and Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go back to Eternal Brunch with Jonathan Van Ness, my personal hell. <laughs> Queerly beloved. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> you guys helped me grow. Not, not like physically, but you know, you helped me grow. <laughs> <laughs> we just got each other, us three, you know? We had something so special. It's always like, you just ribbing each other like three best bros do, you know? Like, <laughs> like that time that Rhett made me kiss him and I was dressed as a little prince. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so special. He never wanted to be a stereotype. That's why he never talked about his obsession with RuPaul's Drag Race, or Hyperpop, or Wendy Williams, or avoiding carbs, or being on antidepressants, or hating other gay people, or wearing jackets even when it made him sweat, or having a boyfriend that looked and dressed exactly like him. He wasn't a top, and he wasn't a bottom. He was annoying. <laughs> have today with me their joint will, which they wrote together because they knew they'd only be successful as a duo. Oh, hey, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Without Rhett and Link, what would YouTube push as recommended videos to make the other videos look just a little bit better? <laughs> In 2019, you listened to amazing new artists that would inspire your career as a burgeoning songwriter. In 2019, I listened to my parents discuss cutting the life support. <laughs> oh my god! That recording is also on Spotify. <laughs> In 2014, you turned 21. In 2014, I had a wild night myself. You see, uh, the nurse tripped over the plug and I was legally dead for three minutes. <laughs> Chase, noted here as, quote, mythical Spencer. May they rest and links. <laughs> Just made a core memory of giving Trevor a swirly. <laughs> Jesus. It's, my, it's my first day. <laughs> when uh, you made me honk like a monkey that one time. <laughs> I'm absolutely devastated today to be speaking after Tommy. Turns out that Link was keeping a running list of apologies that he asked me to read after his death. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> your road trip playlist must include trash music from all the ladies of the 80s, and your regular playlist should sound as close to a Yamaha keyboard being thrown at some pots and pans as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ and associates. <laughs> to Rhett for never confessing or acting upon my completely real homoerotic feelings for you. To all women, I'm not sure what to apologize specifically for, but I'm sure when you see me, something comes to mind. Howdy, y'all. I'm Merle Haggard. <laughs> and I'm Lionel Richie. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I'm Dolly Parton. Oh and I'm Lionel Richie. <laughs> and I'm Merle Haggard. <laughs> Wednesdays, we leave the house looking like dehydrated G.I. Joe. <laughs> you know, Tommy does have great, great fashion sense. How oh, great is his fashion sense? <laughs> Sorry. Guys, I'm talking. <laughs> Merle, they're dead. Yeah, well, so, well, so am I. I always assumed that I would have my own funeral. <laughs> 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 But Link had to be here for this too. <laughs> <laughs> that little fucker. But you know what, Shane? You got a bright future ahead of you, which I think consists mostly of you just praying that they never cancel the Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thirsty Thursday. Happy Slap and Saturday. <laughs> It's me, Ross. <laughs>
A.K. Jersey Queen. <laughs> they told us two legends have been laid to rest. But we look through your channel and we're not impressed. <laughs> I'm going to miss the way he lets you talk for over a minute and then looks at you and says, oh, hold on, uh, I wasn't listening. Can you start over? <laughs> I won't be far behind you, I promise. Just kidding. <laughs> not going anywhere. I got to find a new basic white dude who's too full of himself to be my co-host now. <laughs> not you, Trevor. <laughs> what about you, that dude from Smosh I don't know? <laughs> Yeah, there's no chance in hell that we 